Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on solving a quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. So we have these two quadratic equations and what makes them quadratic equations is that we have an x squared term, an x term and a constant term as well which doesn't have an x in it. Just like here we've got an x squared term, we've got an x term and a constant term. And actually it's still a quadratic equation even if we didn't have the x term or we didn't have the constant term. But the key thing is you've got the x squared. Now these do not factorise and we've seen in previous videos how we can solve quadratic equations using factorisation and usually the clue that you have to use something called the quadratic formula rather than factorising is that they'll say something like give your answer to three significant figures and that's the clue that you have to use a quadratic formula because that basically tells you that you're not going to get nice answers if you're going to have to round some nasty decimal answer. Now I'm not going to prove it but I'll just tell you what the quadratic formula is and it's this if you have a quadratic of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, then we can get the solutions for x by using this complicated expression here. So minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now this looks very intimidating, but ultimately we're just substituting numbers into a formula. And one thing to draw your attention to is this plus or minus symbol, and that just means we actually get two different values of x. We get one value of x if we do this expression but use a plus, and we get another value of x if we use this expression but use minus instead. So we get a solution for plus and a solution for minus, plus or minus. So let's use it on these different expressions here, and hopefully things become clearer. Now, We've got an expression of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. I always write out what the a, b, and the c are. So we've got ax squared, we've got 4x squared. Can you see that the a is 4? a is just the number in front of the x squared, also known as the coefficient of x squared. b is the number in front of the x, which is 2 here. And c is this final number. We've effectively got plus negative 7, so c is minus 7. Don't forget the sign in front of the number. And then we're just going to substitute it into this formula. So we've got x is equal to minus b, so minus 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared. So it's 2 squared. I'm just going to write 4. And then minus, and then 4ac, so 4 times a, which is 4, times by c, which is minus 7, all over 2a. Well, 2 times a is 2 times 4, which is 8. And then we just need to put this into our calculator. So I'm going to press the fraction button first. And first I'm going to do it with the plus. So I'm going to do minus 2 plus the square root of 4 minus 4 times 4 times minus 7. Press the down key to get to the denominator, put the 8 there, uh, and it gives you minus 1 plus root 29 over 4. And if we press the SD key, we get 1.1023 significant figures. But we also get another answer if we use minus here instead because it's minus 2 plus or minus. So to do it with a minus, if we just press the left key on our calculator to modify what we were writing, and I go just after that plus symbol there, press the delete key and do minus instead. And then now it's given me minus 1 minus root 29 over 4. Notice it's just the same as this, but you've got a minus instead of a plus. By the way, this minus 2 turned into a minus 1 because that 8 turned into 4. Both the top and the bottom of this fraction were divided by 2. And again, if you press the ESD key, you get minus 1.60 to three significant figures. Let's use this same formula, but with B. And by the way, if it asks for the solution to the quadratic equation in exact form, then these would be the answers. So this is exact form. And this is kind of numerical or decimal form. Yep. What about the second one? We've got 3x squared equals x plus 5. Now, it's not currently in this form. 
we need to get everything on one side and zero on the other side. So let's just move the x and the 5 over to the other side by subtracting them. So if we minus x from both sides, then we'll have minus x here. If we minus 5 from both sides, that gets rid of the plus 5, and we have minus 5 here. And then we're just left with zero on the right-hand side. Now, let me just put a little 1 here, because effectively that's minus 1x. Minus x is the same as minus 1x, plus x is the same as plus 1x. We've got a kind of ghostly 1. Let's write our a, b, and c as before. So a is the coefficient of x squared, which is 3. b is the coefficient, the number in front of the x, which is minus 1. And c is that final number, which is minus 5. And again, I'm going to use this quadratic formula. So x is equal to minus b. So we've got minus minus 1. Well, if you have minus minus 1, the two minuses cancel each other out and you get positive 1. So when you negate a negative number, it becomes positive. So that's a common error that students make. They forget that if you have minus b, where b is already negative, it becomes positive. Again, plus or minus the square root of b squared. Now, minus 1 squared, any number squared is positive because negative times negative is positive. So we get positive 1 and then minus... 4ac, so 4 times 3 times negative 5, all over 2a, so 6. And again, I'm going to just put that on my calculator. So fraction button 1, I'm going to do plus first for the plus or minus, square root of 1 minus 4 times 3 times minus 5, all over 6. And that gives me 1 plus 361 over 6. So it's just simplified this bit here for me. Um, or it's going to give you the same, but with a minus here instead. So you get 1 minus root 61 over 6 as well. And if you press the SD key, we get 1.47 to three significant figures. Or if I turn that into a minus at the top, so that plus becomes a minus instead, then I get minus 1.14 to three significant figures. And those are the final answers, both in exact form and in numeric or decimal form.